Okay. I think we're all ready to go. Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, Grayson, you managed to make it. Congratulations. Well, I haven't started yet, but, um... Welcome. Come on in. It's gonna be a chill day. Um, as the title suggests, I am going to be attempting to make uh, a, a bomb. But more, more, more importantly, trying to get, to get energy from that bomb. <laughs> I'm not 100% confident in the guide that I have found. But I think what I got is honestly the most comprehensive thing. Um, I want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, fun unit 1997. <laughs> and so, stop it. <laughs> it's not. It's, <laughs> um, fun unit 1997, two days ago, posted a, an actual comprehensive guide on how to make the Draconic Reactor. I have been trying to find a guide that is not from 2013 because no one has bothered updating how in the world you make this thing without going boom. So today's stream is going to be strictly focused on that and hopefully I can get it up and running and get all the parts I need in order for us to, you know, like not disintegrate. <laughs> um, I'm a bit nervous about today's stream because I'm not really, I know nothing about this mod and even in game it hardly has explained anything. So. We're going to be learning right along with me. But anyway, everyone come on in, sit on down, grab something to eat, chill. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch the overlay. Hey, hello. We're here. <laughs> I still have my construction stuff on, but I have a feeling I'm going to need something more protective. But I don't, I don't have anything. I just have the hat. So we're going to go with this. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and undeafen myself so the goobers can uh, can speak. And we are live. Hello. You guys still there? No. Oh, I okay. left. Understandable. Anyway, um, like I said, today's focus is this chapter in Draconic Evolution. We are going to be doing the new uh, the building the reactor segment. I. This one scares me. Ow. <laughs> this one really scares me. Because I genuinely don't know how this is going to go. Um, but in order to prevent an untimely demise, I have a hyperbox. This thing is essentially a portable uh, dimension. I don't know how to use this. Knight's going to run me through this. You're still there, right, buddy? Absolutely, I am. I'm just getting my stuff started for the day. All right, cool, cool. So, a question. Yeah, what's your question, soldier? Can Can you open up the uh, the thing where it shows where the like where it shows what the reactor looks like? Huh? Oh, sure, I can do that. Um, it looks like this. Is that what you want to see? Oh, no, 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 the other one, like the activated reactor. It's got like the beams going on. Oh, this thing. Yeah, it looks like this. Why does it look like Kool Aid? What? So it looks like Kool Aid. I would never put my mouth anywhere near this. You should. Oh, night. Well, you're you be throwing things. We're supposed to be working together on this. You're not leaving me with this. You know that, right? Yeah, I could sit back and watch you absolutely blow up our complete world. That would be pretty funny. I'm not gonna, it's going to be the hyperbox. My thing is, I don't know if the hyperboxes are like next to each other in the dimension that they're in. So if this explodes in the hyperbox, for God forbid, right, it might disintegrate whatever is near it. Because the explosion will reach outside the bedrock. I think that it is its own complete separate thing because if I go outside them, yeah. um, there's a way to glitch outside them. Um, there's nothing out there. All right. Uh, it's just a black you want nothingness. This thing, actually? Uh, put it wherever. Just keep them spaced one block apart at least. All right. I am. Uh, I'll, I'll place it here. Okay. Hyperbox name. Oh. So yeah, you're just gonna name it whatever you want it to be. Um. God, what, you can what? call it Draconic Reactor, someone give, you can call it whatever. Someone give me a funny name for for this power grid thing I'm making. 
a bomb. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's not a bomb. Just write, just write just write the bomb because that's what it's gonna be. The bomb. Is that it's gonna fucking blow up and we're all screwed. Bomba. <laughs> Save enter. Okay. Is this big enough? Is the question. I have no idea. Uh, I oh, know it's, I think it's 13 by 13 by I'm not exactly I'm measuring sure it right. Oh, right. It's a lot taller. I, I went, you have your can... tape measure, right? Oh, yeah. oh, here we go. Okay. Use your tape measure. Wait, no, this is the wither. I don't. <laughs> this is the wrong one. <laughs> Wait. The bomb. Why is there a wither? Don't no worry about it. It's not important. That's ah, crap. It's, it's pressing all the wrong right. buttons right now. Give me that. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. So, this. Okay, so from one end to the other, it's 13 blocks. Um, how tall is this? This is 15 by 13. Okay, this should be enough room to build. I mean, I killed. What the fuck? I have no idea. But, uh. It's okay. a rectangular prism. Hey, look, it's gonna be just barely big enough for this because they need to be five blocks out. Um, I'm gonna put the core in the center, but we need to actually start building the thing. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> but anyway, as I mentioned before, I've been scouring the internet for a while. This is probably one of the main reasons why I've been avoiding building it on the on stream is because I had no idea what I was doing. I tried going into creative mode and figuring it out, but it just kept blowing up in my face. So. Again, credit where credit is due. Fun unit 1997, two days ago, on the Aldermods um, uh, subreddit, posted a guide for this, and he is an absolute goat. I've never met this man in my life, but without him, I would not be even attempting to do this. But this is going to be a basic setup for everything. Um, as for what I need, I need four stabilizers, one injector, and a core. So let's do that. Uh, this thing. Which means we need to fusion craft this. Interesting. Large chaos yeah, fragment. I am also bad. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. And then it was a injector. Another fusion craft. And then finally it was what was the one more thing? It was a four stabilizers. Um, let's see here. Is it... Wait, are these broken into separate parts? Oh, they are. Interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. This is a lot more complicated to build than I thought. Alright. Well, that's what we're streaming today. But anyway, we have the Hyperbox set up, so we can come to this whenever. Alright, let's get this started. Uh, you you have a you said it's for uh, uh, auto crafting. <laughs> how, how do you turn uh, off? This it's timer? not actually it's not actually set off for set up for auto crafting. That shouldn't be touching it at all. Oh, so okay. It actually shouldn't auto craft. It's just there because if you wanted it to auto craft, you could just move it over and point it to the right thing. But so we have four yeah. draconium awakened draconium ingots and large chaos fragments. Regular chaos fragment. Then it was regular draconium ingots, and then what? And another large chaos fragment. Okay, cool. These are a set stack mode. Single, 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 single. Okay, these are all single. Good. So one, two, three, four. Ow! Who threw that at me? Well, I haven't seen you in streaming forever. Come on in. How's it going, buddy? Large chaos fragment. Then it was a three regular ones. No, the how? Well, please. Oh, hey, welcome to the stream, fish. How's it going? You missed <laughs> my win. Ow. I had a helmet though. So that one didn't hurt as much. Ow. <laughs> You're just beating me for no reason. Stop it. Uh, without another miss? Ow. You guys are just laying into me. <laughs> Ow. Stop it. <laughs> Stop why? 
<laughs> I'm trying to build. <laughs> You're just so abusive. I've done nothing but try to entertain you. Alright, we have the core. Ha, you missed again. Get that out of here. A stabilizer in a rotor. Jesus, okay. Um We need to start crafting that, I guess. Uh make a Oh, I'm piece. disconnected. You what? I was apparently disconnected. Why were you disconnected? I don't know. Well stop it. I'll be back when I have more cranberries. <laughs> you get more cranberries right. by watching. <laughs> Wait, is that the will from the Falcon? Yeah. He should try to sell uh, Knight on Final Fantasy. I don't think he plays that much. Okay, what pack is this? Yeah, but he knows oh, this, is, uh, all the, this is all the mods. Knows. We've been uh, playing this for a couple months now. So I'm currently trying to make a Draconic Reactor right now. Without giving myself an aneurysm. So I need reactor stabilizer rotors. Boop. I need a lot more than these. All of my draconic stuff is in here. I'm gonna start dumping back into the system. Um, okay, reactor stabilizers. Okay. How many of these do I actually need? Uh, I'm the certified founder and lurker of the Falcon. <laughs> yeah, you, okay, do, you so, do creep well, around a little bit. Well, I have a job for you. What's your job that you ask of me? Asking of me. I need Will to convince Knight to play 14 because Will knows what the other Final Fantasy games are, and that well, 14 why don't you just message him on the Falcon. Why does that have to be through my stream? <laughs> Because I forgot he existed until I saw him. Bruh, that's rude. Literally, the, the founder of the Falcon, you forgot he existed. <laughs> how could, I mean, how could yeah. you do this? Right. I forgot how to make my way around Old Dawn Limsta. <laughs> He's crying in the chat. Oh, no. Look at you, no, I'm sorry. Look at it's you, my problem. It is a me problem. I'm sorry. I need this in iron. Ooh, there it is. The three point million iron that we have. <laughs> um, okay. He's going to eat the mechanism fusion reactor. Don't. That's expensive. Yeah, you're going to do it. I think that was it, right? Yeah, okay. And then on this side, it was three of these. One, two, three. This is why I don't play more. <laughs> I don't even remember I exist. Well, then you should play more. That way, we, I remember you're there. You're constantly in the top spot in the rooms. You claimed that, remember? All right, and then in the middle, it was a fiber core. <laughs> Put this in here, craft it. Mm. All right, so that's the reactor energy injector being made. How many items do you need? I need a lot. This thing is uh, not easy to build. It's several parts. We are still construct. somehow at 0.0% full. Well, yeah, because I'm going the... to start filling that rapidly. <laughs> that's, I'm just, I'm just saying, we're still at 0.0% .0 full on that. That just blows my mind. Uh, when you finish this pack, you should check out the GTNH. I think you would hate it. Greg Tech is. New Horizons. Greg Tech. Oh, Greg, Greg Tech's already in this. We, yes, we got Greg, Greg Tech. Tech is in this. Yeah, we uh, have an we entire haven't touched chapter. Greg Tech yet. On, yeah, we have the entire chapter on Greg Tech here. So, <laughs> and Will, guess what? What? Chicken butt. Uh, I hope it's chicken butt. That'd be funny. <laughs> you missed. You fool! <laughs> anyway, um, 
Don't worry, Will. I got you. Uh, you. Good God, great can't exist in my version. Yeah, why would you want that? I'm like, oh. Why would I want that? Uh, it's not that I have a choice. This is part of the mod pack. So, okay, to explain to you what the ultimate goal is, right? We want the Aldemod Star, this thing in the center here. This requires us to be a master of quite literally every individual item uh, and mod that they've added in this pack. Whether it be between evil craft, industrial stuff, the space, time, whatever. We need to master all of it. Um, this includes Greg Tech. So that's not even the end of it. Yeah, that's not the end because then we have to make the Greg Star. <laughs> Which requires us to be a oh, master no, no. of all the mods along with everything else in advanced computers and all this stuff. So we're nowhere near close to being done with this pack. What I mean is that you have to unlock... Um... Uh, oh yeah, I played on the mod before Aldebaran 7 TDS, uh, which is like Sky Factory Versus Like Price. You have actually... You have <laughs> uh, started the Great Tech Protector. Yeah, I... Look, I... I'm working on Draconic Evolution right now, because right now we need power, and that's what I'm trying to do. Anyway, so we have the, the fuel injector, we have the core. We need to make the reactor stabilizer requires the stabilizer focus ring, stabilizer rotor assembly, and a chaotic core. Jesus. Okay. And a stabilizer frame. Let's grab this. Um So we have we need four of these, I believe. Because we need to have four injectors. Hello, how can I help you, sir? All right. <laughs> Gets me throwing stuff at me. Very rude. All right, we need to make reactor stabilizer outer rotors. Interesting. 47 of those. Okay, so we need four of these. Two, three, four. And then reactor stabilizer casing. One, two, three. But no, as we're actually starting Greg Tech, not even, uh, not even touched that yet. That's probably going to be the last thing we do, right? right? Yes, no? Oh, my mic was muted. <laughs> Duh. Um, I said absolutely. Uh, yeah. It's so freaking insane. There's just so much to Greg Tech. Like, it is probably one of the biggest mods of this whole entire mod pack. Yeah, I've even got Greg Tech is to massive. There's just so much intricate stuff you need to do for Greg Pick. Draconic uh, energy controllers, and this thing is stupid expensive to make. I need a chaotic core. How many of those do we have? Chaotic cores? Oh no, I have uh, 15 on me. Okay, we should, this should be plenty. And then it needs large chaos fragment. Well, we have 39 of those, so. Yep. So I'm going to set this to stack mode and put this in there. Um, then it needs the chaos core. Oh, stack mode. I'm and actually going to go look at the bees because I think the there's more. Water. I think there's more bees we can actually set up. Like, a look what to help with modifying, uh, like uh, automating this? Uh, make it. I just mean making more chaos shards. Yeah, because what? I had a B in here, it's now no longer. I'm like in the middle of my uh, Greg Tech New Horizons playthrough, and it's like the most complicated, almost unhinged crafting trees ever coded. Do not look up the Greg Tech flat, uh, flat line, it will hurt your eyes. I'm looking it up. You can't stop me. The Greg Tech what? Flat line. I'm assuming it's platinum, right? Is it platinum? Okay, Let's. I can't spell. That's uh, all the ores. All the compressed. Oh, here it goes. Uh, the platinum. I see it. Uh. I don't see regular platinum in this though. 
Uh, Plotline isn't thing? like an in-game uh, in thing. It refers to a branch of like 40 different processes to refine platinum, palladium, rhodium, and other rare metals out of rare metal dust. Interesting. So We already have platinum, though. Rarest metal mixture. I'm assuming it's this. Centrifuge. Good god. Okay. So... What is this? What is this? <laughs> what is this? Keep going. It just keeps going. Microprocessor supercomputer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about all that. One, CPU one, wafers, one, yeah. nanotechnology, <laughs> raw carbon fibers. You make these. Reinforced epoxy, a uh, chemical bath, a cutter, extruder, fluid solidifier. We need a you're literally, a you're literally just basically doing real life things in game at that point. All right, yeah, it's just, we're, we're we're literally becoming engineers. I, we don't have the patience for that yet. Yeah. Um, we, okay, uh, so then the reactor stabilizer is going here. Then it was the wakened draconium. Set this to stack mode. Put that in there. So that should be all four on one side. Unless, was there a fifth one? No, it's just four. So the draconic energy controller. And then uh, the ring. If you want to help with understanding Greg Tech, I can show you how I laid out my base for it because it's like a Sisyphean. <laughs> Sisyphean undertaking. Sisyphus. I get that. I mean, it probably won't be too bad, right? We'll, we can figure that out, right, Knight? Uh, maybe. We'll find out. Right. I'm sure it's going to be quite interesting, to say the least. So, yep. Make this. This is extremely expensive to make. It will be too bad, I can assure you. <laughs> okay, the other thing I remember is that we need a um, flux gate. I, I remember that from the, from the mod. Um, I don't know how those work. I'm, I'm going off of a guide here. I don't really know what I'm doing. Last one. All right, and that's four reactor stabilizers created. All right, I'll leave those in there for now since I don't need them. Oh, wow, I just finished like a bunch of quests from that. <laughs> right. Fuel for a reactor. Reactor takes awakened draconium as fuel. Don't worry, it's efficient. Fuel conversion determines the awakened draconium when the awakened draconium will tra change to chaos. It will only take eight blocks at a time, and it can only be fueled or refueled when the reactor is shut off. SAS mode helps make this easier. Also, fuel goes in the bottom right slots. Needed. All right. Reactor stabilizers. Stabilizers are what form the containment field or force shield around the reactor core. Um, once containment shield is down to zero while the reactor is turned on, it will begin a meltdown. All four stabilizers need to be a few blocks away, five or more from the core, and need to be around the same axis for the core to work. There, uh, These are also where you will pipe out OP from the reactor, just not too much. The reactor state energy, energy injector. The, energy, the injector needs to be on a different side of all the stabilizers and has to share the same axis as the core. This is where OP need to be pumped from. To activate you will uh, and make OP, the energy saturation needs to be raised up a bit. Energy saturation is stored energy and will soon be made, uh, will be made energy. Okay. And then we need a jump start, um, which is flux gate. How do I make this? Shouldn't be too hard to make, actually. I'm gonna make a couple of these. Uh, stone slabs, interesting. Then what a a potent a potent potent not potent potent uh, inominator? 
Potentiometer. <laughs> Potentiometer. I can't read. It rotates. <laughs> I don't know what this does, but it rotates. But we need that, apparently. Um, and then for the flux gates, we need our draconium core to go inside here. Alright. Flux gate. Alright. The reactor can only hold 1 billion OP, and while it may seem like a far number, it won't be for long. When energy saturation reaches 100%, it will increase heat a ton, which can lead to a meltdown. It will need 500 million OP to activate, and a flux gate will help limit how much OP comes in and out. By the way, 1 RF equals 1 OP. They need a redstone to, they need redstone to activate and can be used for both adding OP and taking out OP. You will need energy, you will need energy out to not melt down. Try putting it in an energy core. Got it. Which we already have set up. As we're actually building it, the reactor core is the most complex part of the reactor. I, um... Uh, i.e. the core. Place it five blocks or more from the injector and stabilizers. You can then right click it to see the, its GUI here and you'll find a few bars. A ball, uh, buttons, and slots. The bars will go from left to right. Heat, containment, and fe containment field, energy saturation, and fuel conversion. You have already learned that the field and, uh, and energy you uh, in field and energy, and you will learn about the fuel in the next quest. So the heat is pretty important when it's as when it's warming up. It'll raise at 2,000 Celsius before it's ready to activate. Make sure it doesn't get too high or else meltdown. The ball is the uh, is the image of your core. Right now you have a but we I have a bug where the core doesn't have a texture, so I can't explain much. That's uh, so you know what the bug is is because they have the um what is it, the Oculus. Even the mod developer is like, I don't know how this works. Katha, you're a bug. No, you. Anyway, welcome to the stream, Katha. You bug boy. Uh, oh, hey, does this pack have Greg Tech ore veins? Like, specifically uh, ores every chunk? I think so, actually. It does. It we, definitely probably does. Um, where to go to Greg Tech? Yeah, it definitely has the uh, Greg Tech ores. If I were to go to the mining dimension, actually. Uh, yeah, we have, um, like, uh, Greg Tech surface blocks and stuff. And the quarry definitely has those ores. Did you catch him? No, I'm not a Pokemon. It doesn't work like that. That was a massive ball. This is bull. I'm not a Pokemon. That's why it didn't work. Goober. Stop beating me. So we have the Flux Gate. Um, and we have the... We have to go back to Draconic. Um... Anyway, scrolling down, uh, the buttons will change the appearance of GUI to activate, shut down the reactor, and charge it. Got it. Okay. So then, activating the reactor. 500 million OP? Check. Fuel? Check. Heat? And 2000 C? Check. Just click activate button and pray it doesn't melt down. Thanks, game. <laughs> Alright. We're going to ignore that guide because we should have everything that we need in order to do this now. I'm playing Space Marine 2 right now, it's so fudging good. Complete cross-platform 2. Neat! I've never heard of that! <laughs> Glad you were having fun, though. Um... I'm gonna need to, like... Okay, so this is exactly five blocks out. Wow. Okay. It's gonna have to be, like, right on the edge. Ugh. This is, this is worrying. I don't know if I can actually do this. The hyperbox is just barely big enough for this. Um, I can't line it up with the edges, guys, even if I wanted to, because it's just like, I need to actually get, find a way to get out of the box. So then you have the stabilizers. Which need to go this way. Okay, and then we have a fuel injector on the bottom. Ooh. There we go. No, I want it on the bottom game. Uh, Space Marine 2 is a Warhammer 40k game. Uh, it plays like some new God of War melee, uh, like new God of War melee combat with Gears of War combat. Kind of 
God, I've, I've played Gears. I've never played anything else for really, like close to God of War. Why is this thing not rotating properly? There we go. Okay. I just I exited the box. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh, this is the, this is the scary part now. <laughs> I, I don't know if you can still see the stream. Um. Yes, I can. Um. Oh, I didn't know you had already started. Yeah, I got I everything I needed. Join you. you know, oh, you're okay, gonna join I'm me. Okay. Join you. Um. Problem. I don't know how to put a flux gate on this. I'm looking at the picture guide right now, and it's, uh, the flux gate needs to be on the end of one of these, uh, on the end of one of these stabilizers. And, but I don't think I can move any closer, because it's like, it has to be five blocks away. Like, the flux gate needs to be here, along with, uh, this. No, this still works. Okay. This side is just going to be a little goofy. Can I move it any closer so I can get to the back side of the flux gate? Hey, wait, all right. Oh, wait. Hey, wait. Are you sure that whenever you enter the box, it isn't going to spawn you inside the reactor and instantly vaporize you? Probably. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just as confused as you guys are. Okay, we have this flux gate and then stabilizer. Is this too close? It is well, not too close. We this works. Okay. Okay. Well, so why are we spacing this out here like this? Uh, so we have enough room for the reactor to do its thing. <laughs> okay. It, this is, I'm assuming the spacing matters. Like it can't be too small. But is, what's the purpose you put the space here? So, so I can put a uh, a flux point to actually in, inject and extract energy. Gotcha. Okay. Makes yeah, sense. I need I need room because it outputs from the back. Okay. So reading the guide. Let's start from the top. Um. Again, thank you, Fun Unit 1997. You are amazing. I have went through multiple websites, videos, and tutorials trying to find a good one, and I was only able to find one from a three-year-old uh, system three old system three plus years ago. I have messed with draconic reactor and found a good stable point and how to increase and to keep it stable. The setup is four stabilizers, one injector, one core. You put the injector down and build five blocks from the injector and place the core. Then build out five blocks in all directions and place your stabilizers facing the core. You'll need to place the stabilizer while you are facing away from the core to make it face the core. Step 2. Add a flux gate from Draconic Evolution to one stabilizer, arrow facing away from the stabilizer, into a flux plug uh, to the flux gate. Um, so I just have to put a flux plug here. Uh, flux plug. Okay. Flux plug. Next up is, um, let's see here. Yeah, add a flux gate to the front of the conic evolution to one stabilizer, arrow facing away from the stabilizer, into a flux plug to the flux gate to take out power. Okay. Add a flux gate to the reactor energy injector, arrow facing the injector. Wait, I'm getting, a, um, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Now, you know more about the flux points than I do. Also, I can't read. You have you have the guide open too, right? Knight, don't leave me. <laughs> I've, I'm dealing with a literal bomb here. Come back. <laughs> I think it there it, it's saying to put a flux point here. Actually, you know what? Uh, fish, you you guys are still in the chat, right? Let me just um, let me share the uh. The guide with you guys. You guys can help with this. Okay, here's the here's the Reddit post. Um, explain to me in in easier English because I can't read what I'm doing here, so I don't mess this up. If anyone if anyone wants to uh, wants to humor me on this, this one is going to be. Uh... Jesus, Musha Texas, give me a second. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's a it's a lot. It is, I'm trying to figure this out. So I'm on step two. Is what I have done exactly what they asked for? I 
just want to make sure. I'm reading it right now. Um, so you add a flux gate from Draconic Evolution to one stabilizer error facing away from the stabilizer into a flux plug to the flux gate. You're a flux plug. Shut up, cop. I'm trying not to blow myself up here. <laughs> so, if I'm... If again, if I'm reading this correctly... Explode. No, I don't want to. The flux gate, which is what I did, is facing away into a flux plug. So this is to take out power. You add a flux gate to the reactor energy injector, which is what I did. Uh... Flux gate. Wait, no. The flux gate? See your bit boy. Wait. Well, I don't have a flux gate. Flux gate. No, this is the flux gate. Okay, wait, no. Look at the picture again. So I don't. No, I can see it. But I need another one of the I need another flux gate. Uh don't you have the port facing to the core? I think you want to flip it. This is pointing the right way. Oh my gosh. The biddies. <laughs> thank you. Also, ow. But thank god I had a helmet. Ow. <laughs> ow. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm trying to build. I'm trying to read what fish said. You're covering their chat. You don't have a port facing toward the core, I think you want to flip it. I do have one? I have the flux gate and the flux plug. I need to have a, another flux plug on the bottom here. That's what I messed up on. This needs to be raised up a bit. That's what, what's going on. So, okay, I know exactly what I need to do. Give me this. Don't hurt yourself, game. I just want the stuff. Thank you. You cannot stop the Imperium. <laughs> <laughs> you and your bits. God, please. I'm trying not to die here. <laughs> Pick this up. We're going to build it from the ceiling down. <laughs> You're just going to keep beating me. God, please. I'm trying. I'm, here's the, the, the bit hitting my ears over and over again. It's impossible to focus on this. I'm trying to be serious and actually build something like really complex right now. Why do you abuse okay. me? Hello. Um, so, uh, hi. You, why are you restarting this now? I need it I to go higher. Showing to, you need to go higher. Yeah, I need okay. to go slightly higher because I need to put a flux gate on the end of this one. It was too low. Gotcha. God, this is beating me with bits. <laughs> uh, I see that. Just, just one, one bits. Yeah. He really wants to. He really wants to beat you with that for some reason. I, I don't know he why. Really feels, he really he's, feels he's a bit. Deserved. He's a bit goofy. <laughs> All right. So, right up directly above it. Here. Ow! <laughs> You're out of ammo. Try to feel the fusion bomb while getting pelted with single pennies. <laughs> That's basically what's happening here. So I need another flux gate. That's what I messed up on. Uh, I need to make another flux gate. Um, put this in here. Put this in here. Then make this. Because I need to limit it from both sides. That's why I was, uh, I was struggling that. Uh, why can't I break this quickly? I have a, like a really good pickaxe too. Do I need to, um, like, build it kind of like this? Is that facing up? Yeah, that's facing up. Okay, cool. Broke the sound again. I feel like I'm having a stroke reading this. I can't tell if I'm dumb. Ironically enough, this is the best guide, hands down, for the most updated version of this mod, because it's just out that outdated. Okay, um... I backed out of the guide for a second. Okay. 
Flux gave him the Draconic Evolution to one Stabilizer, arrow facing away from the Stabilizer into the uh, Flux Plug to the Flux Gate to take out power. Add a Flux Gate to the Reactor Energy Injector, arrow facing towards the Injector, and add a Flux Point to the Flux Gate to add power into the Injector. Got it. I understand that now. It was a little confusing, but I need a... Um, rebuild the uh, things over here. Um, I need the Flux Point. Then I need the fluid flux gate. And then I need the stabilizer. All right. And stabilizer here and here and there. This is still valid. Good. Um, then I need to put a flux point uh, below this one. Yippee! The the sound is just gonna keep yipping in my ear. Jesus Christ! Arrow facing away from the stabilizer into a flux plug into a flux gate to get the power. You know what the flexy is supposed to. Yeah, it's point into itself. Yeah, it's supposed to power its its own sheep. That's what I'm assuming it's trying to do. I need a flux point. A brand new one. Okay, so this one is going into... This one needs to be made into a shield. Okay. I don't know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> I'm, I'm freaking out. You're, you're reading the guide too, right? Nate? Um, I'll not. I'll actually pull it up. That's probably yeah. a good idea. Yeah, I'm so you can see what I'm doing because I'm, uh, I'm trying here and I'm thinking I'm doing it right. Uh, I had a guy say, uh, do, 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 if you feed it the right amount of fuel and build it right, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. Yeah, it just won't, it won't explode. Okay. It's not like the building one start of the out with the following flux game, gate redstone low section. Okay. Injector needs to have, uh, 1,500 1, RF. Okay. So this is the injector. Right. Yeah, that's the injector. So, uh, I don't know. Wait, so the injector needs to have a high of 1,500,000? I'm assuming. 1,500,000. Take a different tutorial to see if it makes any more sense. This is the thing I can't find in the other tutorials. So that's 1,500,000. So, redstone signal high. Oh, wait, no. It said specifically redstone signal low. Okay. It said specifically in low. Uh, 1,500. 1, no, I need an extra. No, that's 15 million. No, put an extra zero. So, oh, five and then zero. That's 1,500. Okay. Red's the signal low. Okay. And then the stabilizer needs 4 million. Okay. 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. That's, no, that's 40 million. Wait, I, I can't, I, I don't have my commas. Wait, 4... Uh, oh god, this one's trying to regulate with computer craft. This is like trying to set up a vac new computer craft. I'm dying watching this. Computer craft is... Uh, look at the date. Look how old it is, alright? We're working with old technology here. Knight, is this Fluxgate 4 million? Right here. Oh, with Fluxgate? This one right here. Is this 4 million? Because I, I can't read. This? Oh, wait, it didn't hit... No, that's it. That's not. Uh, 4... Apply. This one's 4 million, right? Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. It's That's four million? million? Okay. Why is this one set to high? I wanted this one on apply and then inventory. Or are they supposed to both supposed to be on redstone signal low? Yes. Specifically. Okay, okay one point five. I, I was just I was just okay. working on reading the thing, so Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
I got to step four. I was working on step five now. Okay. It needs 500 million RF input into the injector before it can start up. Okay. That's fine. For every time the energy saturation goes above 25%, which is continuing to go above 25%. I don't know what this means. <laughs> um. Okay. Fuel in. Oh. Hey, this bigger. <laughs> uh. Charge it. Sass mode is on. Redstone mode. I don't. I think. Okay. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Oh, I see. You want one flux gate to pull energy out of the reactor uh, without any limit. And then one that says put it back in, but only at 4 million RF so it stays running. Flux gates are the re are the resi are like resistors or whatever. They make the power run in one direction so you can tell it to only allow a certain amount in. Got it. How do I do this? <laughs> so the shield needs to be connected to power out. I'm assuming. Makes the one behind the stable uh make the one behind the stabilizer point away from the reactor into the flux plug. Oh, I'm face this is facing the wrong way. This one, right? Yeah, here. you need to flip this around. Oh, okay. I was gonna, <laughs> it's gonna go horrifically wrong. Oh jeez. Okay. Uh yes, yes, it will go horrifically wrong. I'm trying to, okay. It's, it's lagging a bit, boom. so I'm trying to pick it up. Oh. There you go. Okay, so this We don't to want be... everything to go boom. Facing there that way, right? Yes. And then this, I'm assuming you need to set to um, power out, like the. Wait, wait, the don't power don't, in. don't set anything yet because we're still learning. Okay, so like this, uh, fish. <laughs> I have someone in chat telling me what to do. <laughs> well, that's I'm nice. really nervous because I don't, I don't want it to just immediately detonate. Pretty much, pretty much. The, there's a guy in my chat basically just said, um, okay. if you're using power to form a field of safety over the big boom, make sure your safety shield is power. Okay. I don't know. So then we need to So then wait, let me read the guide again. Hold on. Turn on SAS. I repeat step four and profit RF. Okay, wait, so every time the energy saturation goes above twenty five percent with the containment field strength above twenty five percent. Um uh normally Oh, with every 45 minutes to an hour. Then the flux gate behind the stabilizer by one minute after hour. We'll wait for stabilization and then wait for stabilization. Then it's saturation. We continue to go straight through. I'm a bit lost. I'm a bit lost in step four. You're going to need to, like, uh, rock me through that one, fish. How do I actually turn it on? One facing out doesn't want to limit. You want to pull all the energy out of it. Got that part. Okay. So this is injecting. Do I connect this to our power grid then? Because it says it needs energy to charge. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit one, lost here. I think one you have to set to power out and one power in. So this one should go to power in, this, this one. Okay. Because it's feeding the power in and this one you need to do, or power out, sorry. So the yellow network. I'm gonna I'm let you green, do that. Green network. Uh, okay, well, if we blow up, I blame you. Okay. <laughs> okay, from uh, what I can tell, you put, energy, uh, you put energy into this thing, and it gives back you back more than you put in. You want to take all that energy out, but make sure to feed it enough so that it keeps running. Okay. okay. It's warming up. Wait, it's warming up. How, how can you tell? It says it on the, on the thing. On what thing? Where temperature is just cold. Oh, in here, okay. Yeah. Warming so you put energy in this thing, it gives you back where you put it, and you want to take that energy out, make sure to feed it enough so that it keeps running. So this one is feeding it 1,500,000. Wait, is there energy in it? Actually, how is it powering up? Well, he set um, this one, which is power in, right? This is 
Wait, no, this is taking power out. I think you have it backwards. Uh, are you sure about that? We could change it around if it's backwards. Okay. Power out. Oh. oh, okay, that's doing things. This is access denied, probably no player is using. Okay, you swapped it. Yes. That's Warming green. up. This one's yellow, okay. Containment field strength, this is saturation gonna is gonna go going either up. really good or really bad. Wait, the containment field's holding. That's it's still start. warming up, so I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> you have cardboard boxes oh God, on the you, right? Oh god, sending energy has a limit on how much it allows in, right? I don't know! That's what, oh, the, that's what this is. This one's limiting it to uh, 1 million 500. And then this one is 4 million. You could set that as well. You could set that in the flux no, no, point leave, as well. No, no, don't do that. Leave it as is. We're just trying to put energy in so it warms up. I'm watching it. Okay, that's fine. I'm just saying you can limit what it'll input and I'll put in this oh, itself. <laughs> it's only putting in and taking box. out 800,000. <laughs> yeah, just make sure you have a cardboard box on you. Core temperature? The core temperature is still really low. Yeah, look at it, it's still warming up. I imagine people watching this <laughs> is like watching a kindergartner play with like C4. Like, okay, and it's, it's just like that 500. people. It's we the just core have, temperature okay, is the core temperature is going up. We have no idea what we're doing, <laughs> and it's very dangerous. Oh. So, oh, it's changing color. Is it doing something? It's the core temperature is going up. It's still pretty low. What I is this? I'm so afraid. The fuel, the fuel conserve, cons yeah, conversion. Jeez, it should be right, fine if you that. leave it now, but it isn't outputting as much energy as it could be. It has, it's not outputting anything because it's still warming up. Yeah, it's, everything's still at zero. It's still, yeah, it's not outputting diddly squat. Yeah. Yet. The containment the field is stops. saying that we're at 50, 50 million out of 100 million. Did we do this backwards? Uh, is there fuel in it? There is definitely fuel in it. Oh, wait. Uh, there's an activate button now. Do I dare? Oh, okay. Ooh. Um, yes, there's fuel in it. Um, okay, oh my it's god, it's generating go 2 million per tick. Uh, the containment field's going down. Just slightly. Hold up, Let, just give it a second to stabilize. I don't think it's going to. I think you need to allow more power input. Hold up, oh, wait, wait, it's going back up. It's going back up. Okay. What? I'm so scared, I don't know what I'm doing! The energy saturation is going up. We That's need to be able to output more. Just give Unless it a energy sec. saturation's okay. I don't know. Are you watching this? I'm watching all of this. I'm looking at Get the cardboard box ready. I have it in my hand. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what's oh, going to happen is... if it reaches 100. Is that a bad thing? I'm pretty sure the, shield the, strength the is energy going saturation up. is bad. Is energy saturation yeah, that... a bad thing? Is it? I thought so. I Apparently don't know. not. <laughs> Okay, it looks good. Okay, the, the guy on my Wait. stream said it looks good, so we can relax a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm freaking out. I don't know what I'm doing. Me too. I mean, at least the core temperature is down pretty low, and the containment field strength is getting up there, so... The core temperature is going lower, actually. Is it? It is. Very slowly it is, yes. The Nothing's in the red. Is, like, as long as everything stays out. out of the red... Well, that's not true. The core temperature is kind of in the red. But you want the core temperature to be it... higher so it produces more energy. Currently, it's generating. Okay. Are we not outputting energy? Um, it says its generation rate is making eight hundred thousand. So it it maybe okay. The then I increase the transfer okay. limit then. Okay, just oopsie. That's set it to why. what do you want? Uh, this it said is four million. Power right? out. Uh, you uh, want it set at four million? There we go. 4 Let million. me just make sure. Oh, that's that's power in. Yeah, power out. There that's we go. I'm lowering the energy right saturation. Here. Shield strength okay, is going there we down. Go. Okay. Uh, okay. Maybe so we should dial it. that we, back. We bottlenecked it with the flux points. So then these need to go to 100, uh, 100, 1 million. Uh, the the million field strength is falling. Oh, it's going back up. Okay. There we go. One million five hundred. Okay, is okay, going okay. into it. Okay, that's that's what I was saying is that we were being we were getting limited Jesus by Christ, those look how much we're generating. <laughs> wait, wait, no. Did I increase the input flux gate rate? No. What? You know what the sad part is? Is that I'm Why I'm I am making more than that with my What's wrong? with my magmaters. Well, what's uh, wrong? We're... Wait, don't do that? Why not? That's exactly what was bottlenecking it. Bad things might be happening. We're about to hit the middle on both of these on the containment field strength. Do the thing. I don't you can, know. You can let the field strength down. to 35% and chill. Okay. Okay. Change the field input rate. 
change the vote. Okay, okay, I thought you misread it. I thought you were saying so I increased the output rate. No, I was, uh, the flux oh, floods and stuff. Going up too high. The core temp's going up too high. We need to turn this down. What, what, is it? Wait, that's too high? It needs to be below the field strength, I'm assuming. No. I don't know. I'm it's, telling you, the guy know. in my stream said the core temp's going up too high. It is? So then... I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, it's like kindergartners playing with C4. Nothing good can come of this. It's outputting. Oh, the core is at 50%. Okay. Okay, I think it's okay. Nothing too bad's happened yet. Our energy saturation is not too bad. Our containment field strength is doing okay. You change the input back to the original. You're going to blow it up, I think. I don't know. It's on, it's on the SAS. It's on the semi-automated shutdown. What does semi-automated shutdown mean? If it stays okay, at 50%, so when it's we're enabled, chilling. the reactor will automatically initiate shutdown when the temperature drops below 25, uh, 2500 C and saturation reaches 99%. This can be used to automatically shut down the reactor in the band of a What percent field strength and 50% core temp is good? Okay, sweet. Uh, okay, so the guy in my chat said 40% field strength and 50% core temp is good. So as long as it stays around here, we're good. It's just slowly going up. We need to keep an eye on it then. Which the guy, the in the thing, it did say that you might have to bump up. Um, it said turn on SAS inside, uh, SAS inside the stabilizer just in case you forgot. Um, every time the energy saturation goes above 25% with the containment field strength above 25%, also normal every 45 minutes to an hour, then up the flux gate behind the stabilizer by 500 to 1 million RF per tick, then wait for stabilization. The energy saturation containment field strength start to go up. I mean, honestly, right now we're chilling. Uh, the temperature is going back down a little bit, which is okay. So it's that's, like it's, that's it's bouncing back and forth a little bit. Pretty much. It went up, and now it's going back down a little okay. bit. So I is think we're a okay. I think to increase the containment field strength? Like, always have that I at 100%. I don't think so. I, I don't okay, From what I, don't I can know. tell, you want to bump up the I amount think... of energy you're pulling out by 500 or 100,000 every time the containment field strength and saturation are above 25%. So, okay. Wait, so now, as long as you guys have fuel, you'll stay around the situation, out. right? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's pulling out a million, uh, four million. I'm pretty sure the fuel stringer it's, uh, it stops being contained and it explodes. Yeah, I kind of figured that. So I think for the containment field strength, basically, working? if you set it to a hundred percent, Sora. Um, that if you you're just wasting power at that point. Okay. So basically, you'd be burning more power than you'd be putting like outputting. Okay. Jesus Christ, this is the scariest thing I've ever created. I agree. This is very nerve wracking. But I mean, everybody like the dude in my chat seems pretty. I mean, his name is Chill, but like <laughs> he's being pretty chill about it. Granted, if it blows up, it's not his Minecraft world, but um, he he seems like he he's know knows what's going on and he seems pretty chill about it. So. He's pretty relaxing, you know, we're, we should be pretty good. So our generation is slightly higher than what we are actually outputting? Because we're pulling 4 million from it, right? Mm -hmm. So increase it by 1,500. 1,500? On yes. For what? Because what you can do is because uh, that one, we need to like constantly pull from it, but not too so, much. We'll yeah, I guess. In. So, I mean, we're, or, or we're just making... increase it by a thousand. Let's do that. I'll increase it by one thousand. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a just that. That's a nice round number. Cool. Apply. So what Chill said is he tries to do about a 50 40 range, 50 core temp and 40 field strength. So 50 would be around, I guess, five thousand C, and then around 40 percent field strength. Which the field strength is sitting around 39, 40 ish percent around there. Mm -hmm. um, we could bump up the. Yeah, the um, engine energy that's inside that. is, uh, is keeping it running, so if you pull too much, it'll die. Okay, interesting. Um, so we're making 4 million right now, and From we're inputting 1.5 million. So we're making more power than we are using, at least. But it's. it's honestly kind of underwhelming to be honest because i'm generating 8 million power just flat out from just lava oh keep in mind this is like yeah, the, the beginning the, this is the beginning point of it 
As you can okay. see, the generation okay. rate is slowly going up, right? Yeah. Like, this outputs so a, li it a has limited to, like... amount of power. I'm aware of that, but right yeah. now it just needs to slowly stabilize and get hotter. <laughs> yeah, chill said it's a net positive 2.5 RF per tick yeah. right now. So. We're doing surprisingly well Which, for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Bro, I've literally been outputting 8 million RF per tick like it's nothing. And it mine won't even explode. Mine's just chilling. What, it, I will not be satisfied until we make at just significant amounts more um, than what I'm outputting now. Which you need to catch up because I'm going to go switch all my other ones to soul lava and then it'll be more because the, the one... Mm -hmm. The one will be six million seven eight. Like it'll be like almost ten million output from the keep the lava things. Ready, and every time it stabilizes, you increase the amount you're increase the amount you're pulling out. Interesting. But I guess that kind of makes sense. He's uh, in the thing. It says every forty five minutes to an hour to increase. Normally, every I... the containment field strength above twenty five percent. We're gonna have to like when we're no one's online. We're gonna have to shut this down. I'm assuming. Five to eight reactors to get. Okay. You don't have a way of automating this. Sora, you completely oversold this to me. What do you mean? Chill is saying that we're we're gonna need like five to eight reactors to equal what that what we have from power. Okay. That means we need five more of these explodey bombs. <laughs> you make it sound like that's a hard thing. It's not a hard... Well, you gotta make sure five of them don't explode. I think if we just replicate this multiple times, it shouldn't be that dark. Again, you can probably think around and find out what the output rate If it dies, you can just we'll jumpstart again. That is true. What I am... I, I do know of is that the Draconic Reactor's output is absolutely insane the higher the temperature is. You just have to constantly monitor it. That's the thing. Let me, um, let me look at okay. this. Reactor. Uh, yeah. Give me a second. These are just so outdated, bro. Like, even the official wiki is still using a guide from, like, uh, uh, like, from 2013, dude. Uh, uh, okay, Chill said that, uh, you can raise the temp higher, uh, without the field, if the field strength doesn't go wild, then yeah, it'll make, uh, like, up, like, 10 million. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, it's the potential. Right now, this is, like, the mm -hmm. basic setup. It makes a lot of power if you just give it time. But as of right now, this is just so he can get the thing running. He just said, just so you know, it's risky as fuck, LOL. Yeah, that's that's the challenge. So our field strength is actually slowly going up. We can increase the output a little bit more. I'm going to stick to my power stuff. I like not exploding. <laughs> but no risk, no reward. Come on. I, deck, I agree with that. There was a risk that my power stuff didn't work because this stupid soul lava. Oh, that was so obnoxious. And uh, we're actually maxed on both of these right now, which is kind of crazy. So increase the output just by a little bit, I guess. Um, I'll increase it by another three. Three by three. Apply. How's that looking? The shield is going down by then. Ninety-nine percent of gamers quit right before atomizing their entire city block. <laughs> yeah, the generation rate is just slowly going up the longer this thing runs. That's actually very interesting. So over time, this thing will just slowly make more and more energy. And then we can increase this one by like what another thousand 
two. Okay. Yeah, and this increases it. Okay. And the heat, it's just completely stable. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm tweaking it just a little bit to get it good. Uh, by the way, small increases in the reactor probably mean like 500k RF. If you up to like a thousand, it'll take weeks to actually reach peak performance. Yeah, I kind of figure that, but right now I'm just testing the waters, just dipping my toes in. I don't want to add another 500,000 if it's going to just immediately nuke me. All right. As of right now, our output from the thing is at 4 million. All right. So our transfer limit is ridiculously high. Honestly, we can increase the transfer limit even more, but we have the flux gate here limiting this. So this one, we can set the transfer limit to like, we'll say 10 million, right? We can do 10. Or is that the max? Okay. Interesting. The generation rate suddenly went down. Why is this? Oh, it's because this got changed. Hmm. Okay, then we can... Put that back then. There we go. Lower that saturation a bit. Carry, go big or go home. Look, I don't look. I'm I'm nervous because I don't know how 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 far I can take this without like going horribly wrong. Our temperature is rising a bit. Double or nothing. <laughs> Double it. What's wrong with you guys? Double it and give it to the next person. <laughs> Double it, it explodes hand in the box here. You can have this. What? <laughs> you can have the cardboard box with the reactor that's absolutely exploding in it. Give them the box. That's funny. <laughs> I mean, honestly, overall, we're not doing too bad. Our generation rate's dropping, though. Or dropped. Well, that's because I've been tweaking it a bit. Gotcha. But, yeah. Okay, so we can adjust this one. They said to go higher. If it, if it explodes, it's your guys' fault. Um, um, I'm I'm leaving. I'm I'm running far away. I really <laughs> hope the hyperbox stuff doesn't bleed out into the world because if okay. so, um, we're gonna completely <laughs> flatten everything. Yeah, we'll, we'll um, increase it by 100k. Or they 10K. really just want to watch the world burn. Fly. What's this? It's just a quick little quick little ditty. Uh, we're still doing good, actually. Okay, so we can increase the increase it a little further. We'll do five. <laughs> Apply. Is that too much? Temperature is rising. Field is going down slightly, and saturation is going down. Okay. So I'm taking more than it can actually produce, but it's going to stabilize eventually. Uh, oh, so this is a future meltdown. There won't, <laughs> there won't be a box to open, bro. <laughs> okay. Field input is doing really, really well. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna increase it again. We'll increase it by. One hundred K. Apply. This is one. Okay, energy saturation is rapidly going down. Is it up to like four point five mil? It is not yet. Is that four point one mil right now? I can make it four point five mil if I really want to go that far with it, but I don't. I'm I'm, I'm testing waters right now. Uh, the core temperature is rising pretty quickly, though. I don't want to push it too hard. And increasing the amount you pull up is just going to blow up until you just pull all the energy out. Yeah, I kind of figured that. 
I'm trying to figure out what its current limit is, because the longer you let it run, the more saturation it will generate, right, in order for it to uh, make more and more power. If this thing can output 10 million once this number and the generation rate gets high enough, dude, that's a lot of power from this one thing. And you can set up multiple of them in different hyper boxes? Come on. Up to 5 mil. I'm not putting it up to 5 mil. <laughs> It mills too much. It's not even generating that much. It just reached 4.1. Ooh, I saw that wiggle. What are you doing? Stop it. I think this shield needs to be up upped a little bit. We'll uh, increase this by one. Yeah, this is this is running relatively stable. I'll generate faster recruit bar. So we're thirsty, give us more power. I'm not gonna <laughs> this thing is too expensive for me to be messing with, but I'm like really trying not to go go too hard on this. Yeah, so the transfer limit, this thing needs to be like just infinite. That's the thing. So it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Transfer limit to this. So this thing can constantly get power. Okay. How do you expect to grill a cheese with this pitiful power? What do you mean? It's four million! What are you talking about? I'll increase the shield rate uh, by an extra million. How about that? Put it at six. Cool. Let's do that. So the shield strength can go up a little bit higher, so we can increase this one by, let's say, three. Is that enough? Let's see here. And saturation is rapidly going down because of you guys. You need 10 million, <laughs> 10 million to grill a grilled cheese. <laughs> Inflation sucks. I just wish there was a way to automate this. The fact that I have to like watch over it like a hawk is the thing that's scaring me. What happens if you make the shield rate absurdly high? It'd just be wasting power at that point. You'd be putting more power into that than you would actually be taking it out. I'm thinking if I were to leave it, like, let's say at 2 mil, actually. Um, that would be a fair number. I'm gonna try that. Um... 2... 0, zero, zero. Apply. 2 million RF per tick for the shield. Yeah, so this thing will have a lot more shield to work with. Alright. Looks like 2 mil is roughly around the 500, uh, 500 mark. The 50% mark. Which is not bad. Which means we can eat into the shield a little bit. Let's increase this by... Split it to 8. Try 8. Apply. How's that? Insaturation's looking a little bit low, though. Do not do that. Uh, that thing doesn't change the shield rate. It gives it more power until it will melt down. Uh, what I'm trying to do is increase the shield rate itself. Oh, wait, does it actually? I don't know if it's stupid to be honest. Yeah, I'm just trying to increase the shield rate. So I'm going to leave it at this. 4.8 million generation right now because the temperature is getting a bit hot. And then we have a 2 ow. And then we have a 2 million shield rate. So the thing that's worrying me is the energy saturation. Stop beating me. <laughs> I'm assuming energy saturation is the amount of energy that's actually stored inside this thing, right? Stop touching me. Absolute gremlins. <laughs> it's slowing down a little bit. I think. We've basically converted like none of our fuel, so we're perfectly fine on that. 
Shield is holding, and the core temperature is up, and we're in... Uh, Knight, you still there? Uh, yes, Yeah, tweaking it a little bit, we've managed to get it to start uh, nearly generating 5 million per day. Nice. So, you have it almost at 5 million. What's the, uh, what's the stuff at? Um, the shield is at 47.3, and the saturation is hovering at exactly 22.9. Nice. So, over time, once the generation rate increases, we increase the amount of stuff that we take out of it. This is just something that'll slowly build up over time. Also, thank you for the double hydrate. I actually needed that. I, I, I can't, I only have so much drink. My cup is empty now, look what you did. No, I have no more drink. I have to get up and get more. I have my backup drink that I have here in case I ran out. Okay, so here's the here's the thing that I was learning about, uh, like tweaking with it. All right, you still there? Uh, yes, I never left. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so the flux point and the flux plug, right? Both of those need to be like yeah. at uh, unlimited, right? Because what's limiting what goes inside of them and out out from them is the flux gate. The flux gate is going to determine what it uh, how much is actually coming out of the machine and going into it. It's its own. Okay. It's its own individual filter. This is just power. Just we really just need an infinite amount of power that it's going to go in and take out. Um, we limit it using what what the flux gate as basically a filter in order to determine how much we're putting in. The shield itself is currently taking two million, right? Um, okay. In in order for me to start generating the five million, right? So this is not too bad at all. And I'm trying to uh, increase it a little bit, but the energy saturation is running a bit low. So I just kind of have to leave it. There's nothing else okay. I can do. Because over that's time, the core... What, huh? That's pretty much what he said in the in the thing, was to basically more or less leave it, just keep an eye on it. Yeah, long. so you just leave it, and then once the core temperature gets cold enough, right, you bump it up in order to heat it back up again, and then they'll start making more energy at the same rate that it was when it started cooling off, right? Yep. Uh, and the shield strike is just going to hover at a solid 50, and I think that's that that's that's good enough. I think it's mission uh, mission success. We'll just leave it running, and we are generating power with my reactor. And if we hear a kaboom, we know what it is. Uh, we probably won't hear it, but it, we'll notice that everything's missing from that room, and that that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um. The weird thing is, is you can hear stuff in the hyperbox from outside. Stuff so like I was walking around, you'd be able to hear me walking around. Oh, really? Um, yes. Uh, like I can, whenever you're in the hyperbox, like I'm in the hyperbox, um, for like the bees and stuff, I can hear the vil the villagers spawn. Oh, neat. And I can hear him just drinking his potions and stuff. He's he's even more obnoxious at that point because because he's he's there. Yeah. He's an ob obnoxious. I'm currently working on occultism stuff at the moment. Okay. Well, then I'm going to continue working on the other thing I was doing. Don't I mentioned this that. last stream that I still need to finish with the uh, uh, immersive engineering thing. I need to make a rail gun. A rail gun? Yes, that is required for the Aldermod Star for some reason. Because everybody needs a rail gun. Yes. Okay, so HV accumulator. You need a water bucket. Uh, I don't have a. Why do we have no water buckets in the system? There should be a thousand water buckets in the system. There is not. There should be. There is not. Why do you lie to uh, me? I don't know where the water went because there was a thousand water buckets in here literally less than ten minutes ago. Did you eat them? I think if I drank that much water, I would have died. Nah, you only drown if my you cells, drown. My cells would have exploded. We have visitors under the water for some reason. I know they're really, 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 really freaking annoying. Hope, hope. Yeah, my house. All right. Uh, we have a water bucket, so we need to. What was this again? It was a HV accumulator. Like this is not the right one. I need this one. Boop, boom, bam. Bob, cool. This to make this. Okay, HV accumulator. We have the electrum coil blocks. 
stack of these. this. Next up was two steel ingots. Uh, steel ingots. And then uh, something called a wooden rip. A tree wooden stick. Okay. Did And then something called an advanced electric component. Right, I needed to make the duroplast. I was working on the bottling machine before. I remember now. Okay. Um, ionic resin. It was made in the refinery from Cressley and whatever this is, um, which is made from ethanol. I want. I want the immersive engineering. One. Thank you. Okay. Immersive engineering ethanol, which is made by burning uh, in an industrial fermenter. We got a lot of work to do on the immersive engineering. I've been slacking. All right. So from the top, um, make ethanol. We need an industrial fermenter. I need my book. Where's my book? No, oh, I shoved it in here somewhere. Industrial fermenter, let's take a look. Heavy machinery fermenter. I want, I want to, there we go. Stop it, there we go. All right, so what we need is two light engineering blocks. Okay. Um, one redstone engineering. Um, four iron sheet metal. Sheet metal. Six steel scaffolding. And then four cauldrons, interesting. We have five. Case we need them for later. All right, and uh, lastly, it was two fluid pipes. Okay, I have these in here. Yes, I do. All right, let's build the bunny. So we can build it this on this side. Okay, so to craft, uh, we can put this thing away. We need the scaffolding. Oh, what did you just do? I just got a whole Wait, bunch of quests quest quest completed. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> um, I'm doing things out of order, apparently. You're, you're doing religion. <laughs> I guess kind of, sort of. Something like that. We can religion out of this. More cauldrons and another machine block. <laughs> okay, so uh, we need to put foods into this. Um, what food do we have a lot of, like uh, plant-based stuff? Ooh, I don't know, carrots, carrots. onions. No, it's definitely carrots. We have four million of these. I'm gonna yeah, start burning through some we carrots. We don't use them anymore. Go for it. Uh, 
Um, I need some pipe, some cables. Down a little bit. I don't feel like building on a on an off uh, floating. I'm just gonna dread the moment that I come back into the uh into the thing, uh the hyperbox with the reactor, and it's just gone. <laughs> like what happened? Yeah, that'll be unfortunate. That's how you export, so this is how you import. Exporter, please. Boom. Okay. And then this needs to be exporting carrots. Right? Yeah. Okay, now it's putting carrots into this. Um actually I'm unfamiliar of how this works. Show recipes. So it doesn't output anything but the ethanol. That's perfect, actually. Unless... Does the fermenter not take carrots? Bruh. <laughs> of all the foods that are growable, carrots are not one of them. Why is this? Alright. Relay, boom, boom. Put the power on top of this. Get a crystal binder. This, relay it over to here. Unless it doesn't take it. I don't think it does. Yeah. Of all the things it does not process, carrots is not one of them. We have an abundance of them. Oh, that blows. Okay. Um, we do have a lot of tomatoes, so we can use that, right? Tomato? No, no tomato. What can it take, then? Corn, potatoes, melons. I thought it does take tomato. Oh, wait, is it not? No, output two block. There we go. Now this thing has power. So we can put too many items, right? I don't know if it's working. Oh, it is working. Oh, okay, so we put tomato in this. Get a couple stack upgrades. So now it is producing ethanol. Ethanol will be getting imported from here. Fluid. Okay, so ethanol should be going into the system now, right? Yes, it is. Cool. Okay. I'm making ethanol now. Not very quickly, but I am making ethanol. All right, so with ethanol and uh, silver plating for some reason into the refinery, it makes these. So I think I need multiple refineries in order to do this, right? Because Sonic Bridge needs a refinery, which is this and crested oil. Gotcha. Okay, I need two refineries. Jesus. Build it back here. Fineries. Ooh, there's a big one. All right. All right. What would we need? Uh, just two heavy engineering blocks. All right. We have everything else to work with. All right. The build we need four and four. One, two. One, two. Piping. Then it was 
basic one in the back. All the block structures are pretty fun to build. I really like them a lot, Knight. What what do you like building? Multi block structures. Multi block yeah, multi block structures are, are nice because they're just like uh, uh, they're just they're just nice to see. Like yeah. you, your stuff worked and everything. It feels like an actual factory when you're doing this. Alright. Next up is the next layer. Sheet metal and low layer frames. That's another heavy one. Redstone. And then sheath. No, it needs to be on both sides, okay. Alright, next layer. Uh, another. else no that's it okay and then you just hammer the middle one Boop. chemical processing okay now this one is gonna be a little weird to do um looks like the inputs are on the sides so we're going to need to input this and this both of these are liquids Then power is in the middle, thankfully. Crystal binder. Link this so we can just link both of these. Boom. Bop. There you go. Put this this back there we go okay so this is going to need on one side whatever this liquid is i can't i and now i'm gonna put again try to pronounce that so i don't have a bucket of this um oh wait no this is the importer i need exporters i'm a bit silly to go in front. I'm thinking I can just cable this one directly into this, into this one, because it's just going to be making only this. Ironically, it's easier to break the block in order to get on it than it is because of my speed. Ugh. Okay. I hate the pipe, 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 pipe. Okay, so we can put these over to here. To get a configurator, this outputting into this. Alright, so the liquid from storage is going to be exported into here. Specifically, we need uh, fluids and we need ethanol. And I can't spell it. Impure white chalk. Ethanol. There we go. Schematic craft. There it is, bucket of ethanol. Okay. I hate the fact that I can't drag buckets of something into the filter. That's like the most obnoxious thing. Uh, I agree, not being able to drag buckets is absolutely obnoxious. Okay. Ethanol. Import it into this. And we connect this cable over here. Any more cables? Okay. 
this. Right. It's a bit crude, but hey, it works. Right. So this is exporting ethanol into this. Cool. Ethanol along with... Uh, God, how do I put how do I put an item into this? The front? I'm assuming this is the front. I could put an exporter on the top, I'm assuming. Like kind of here. And then these machines are a little weird because I don't know how they actually function in terms of like import output. There's like obvious holes for stuff, but it doesn't really mean anything. Silver. I've never made silver cheats before. This is new. Silver plates. There we go. Okay. And this is output two block. I don't know if this is working. Says it is, maybe. I don't know. Ooh. Wait, it went down. Oh, wait, no. no. No, 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 I don't want it to go into here. Oh, wait, no, it is making it. No, 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 okay. We're making this. Ooh, I, thought, I thought the ethanol was just getting straight pumped out. Okay. And this silver plates, I guess. If I put this into the storage system, does this take it out? does not. Why does it not? Does it not consume silver plates to make this? I don't think it does. Well, if it doesn't, then we'll just leave that then. Okay. So then this one needs to be connected via cable. Uh, we'll do it through the top. Might as well. Here, cables. These things are so tiny. Alright, so this is just going to be importing fluids. From the app port. And this is going to be exporting. Press the oil. Exports fluid into this. Then connect it. Oh, that's right. Um. Oh, wait. Maybe because it's uh because the, the uh, oil that I am producing is being consumed into buckets, which I don't want. Go ahead and turn this off because we have plenty. Stop eating my oil. <laughs> I need that. The way on the Coke factory. There has to be a faster way of making this oil, man. The Coke factory is just taking ages. Are any of them even remotely close to being ready? This one is. Make a little bit of oil, please. That's all I want. Um, and just pour this into here. No, won't let me. Yeah. Just want to put it in. <laughs> oh, this blows. I just have to I just have to wait now, I guess. Because this thing is going to be making wait, what again? What are we doing? Right, it's making the uh the resin, this stuff. 
the philonic res resin with the crystal oil. Can I uh, put a bucket of this into the sister fluid grid? There we go. One bucket of that. Is it working? Can't tell. <laughs> Or does it? It said it needed eight, didn't it? Ugh. One of y'all's burn faster. Oh, there's three. Oh, it's going in. Okay, wait, wait. I think I just need to increase the speed of it. Uh, we need speed to stack our birds. And stack. Three speed with a stack. Okay, we have four. Count them. Four buckets. Ha, ha, ha. Whenever it's. Feels like being done, I guess. We're just we're at the mercy of just the coke ovens at this point, and there's no thing I can do to speed them up. They're like going quite literally as fast as I can. Unless is is there a way to speed up coke ovens? There has to be, right? Um Pressed oil. Coke oven. This is the first machine we'll need to create in order to remove simple coke blocks and rich in carbon rich fuel. That's cool. You know, that's to make the basic coke oven. There has to be a better one, right? No press assembler, squeezer, mixer, heavy machinery. Got yeah, sneeze. <coughs> Yeah, it's like a sneeze stuck in my, my nose. Uh. Is it is it a simpler machine I can make? So here, no. These are wires. None of these things is what I want, bro. Alloy kiln. Blast furnace makes it steel. Slag recycling. Oh. Like genuinely looking, there has to be a different way. Like an advanced version of uh what about constructions. No. I'm genuinely confused. I don't know where I would go about doing this. We did the crusher, we did the arc furnish. The refinery doesn't make this. The excavator? No, this is the ore vein mining. I don't want that. It really sucks there's no way of getting oil faster. It really does. Okay, so we have oil. Let's, uh, power it. Okay, so it is making the resin. Good. Slowly but surely it's making the resin. Alright, so now that the resin is there, uh, the next step was to make the uh, Duraplast sheets. which is used in a bottling machine. Right. Don't know how to do this. Heavy machine, bottling machine. Ooh, this one's interesting. Three conveyor belts. I have never made one of those before.
Oh, these are really easy to make. A stack of those, ready to go. Um, and then what else do I need? Fluid pump. Interesting. Uh, this thing. Cool. Under pressure. Build it here. Alright, step one, what do we got? Pretty straightforward. Some machine blocks and redstone. Okay, I need this. And then steel she and we can't light one. was three conveyor belts, the bottling thing, and another block. Okay, so, boop. Bottle. Bottle. Nope. Pump. Pump. There we go. Pump it. Then it was the light, light one. And the three conveyor belts. a bottling machine anything else that's it okay so then you just hammer the middle right no nope. there we go hey we're bottling now okay we need a uh, what was it again to make this metal press mold wait I need metal. I need a mold metal press, uh, which we have this over here to make the, the molds. Uh, it was this one, yeah. Ste three steel plate and one engineer wire cutters. I don't have any wire cutters in here. There they are. And steel plate. Here's wire cutters. It's three steel plates. Oh, it has to be stacked. Okay. All right, one of these. There we go. So we put it in something, I think. I don't know. I don't know how to work this. <laughs> let me. Let me. Maybe I should be reading the instructions. I'm just assuming you just right click with it. Um. Okay. The machine can store eight buckets of fluid, which is the input to the ports in the middle tank. Energy is input to connect to the top. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Generally, by we see with the lightning container has a few more stuff here. Okay. items. Dirt plus items are created by filling the appropriate molds with the resin in the bottling machine. The machine is able to convert enough heat and pressure to trigger these molds to ensure the car. This is the advanced electronic components. That's cool and all. How do I use this? Insert into the metal press by right... Oh! I have to actually make a metal press. Okay. I, I have a mold. I don't have the actual press. So... Metal press it is. Oh my god. Ow! Grayson, why you beat me? What I do? Metal press. This one's stupid easy to make. We just need a piston. Uh, one piston. Oh, okay. Can replace this torch back down. Uh. Now you're just standing there menacingly. I'm trying to build multi-block structures. Stop beating me! <laughs> you guys are so mean and randomly. I literally am just trying to play the game. Okay, I'm 
then layer up. Piston facing downwards. That's going to be a bit annoying to do. Let's, can I rotate this with the hammer? Pretty sure I can. Yeah. Why is it not letting me rotate down? Come on. Okay, fine, I'll do it the old fashioned way. Nope, not like not like that game. You know what? Technology is eluding me. There we go. Facing down, and then we have the two conveyor belts right here the sides facing each other boom replace the lock so i can have a footing next up was a heavy machine and then is that it yeah that was it and then hammer this thing there we go okay so then we take the mold place that there then we take what was it again I said put the times of the lower middle block and rest on control. Right clicking is to invert the rest on control. Actually, with the middle press request on mold, attach to the work we already done. Molds are crafted as shown. I can't get pegging molds compressed into the same item. Do I just put the steel in it? Molded ingot. Yeah, so I just need a steel ingot. Steel ingot. All right, and now we need to actually power the thing along with these this as well yo what up how's it going going pretty good um i was just showing off your multi block structures over here yeah i'm slowly trying to like line them up to be useful gotcha gotcha okay. looks like you're making some progress on this over here i am about to uh make some uh, molds and press them you're making some molds and press them. Interesting. If, well, best of luck with that. If it's we'll gonna we'll work. watch you. Maybe. Are we doing this wrong? Why it no move? I think so. The one's laying on there. It's just yeah, not moving. Do you need? Is there need to be like a redstone source or something? I don't think so. That's not what it said. Oh, did it say place it and it works? Um, power is input to the top and items through the conveyors, obviously in the direction of movement. The lower middle block is the redstone control. Right clicking with the inner. Oh. So you are right, it is a redstone control, thank you. So I just... I figure when stuff doesn't work, it typically is a redstone thingy. Oh, I... Maybe I just need to actually, like, get a lever. Um, okay. All the other ones just kind of did it automatically once they got power. Oh, wait, I never connected uh, the thing to it, that's why. Hold up. Oh, yeah, it'll help if you connected power to it, you're right, yeah, you're right. Yeah, Oh, is, it, is it going now? Did it yes, do something? Yes, it did. Okay, cool. Yes, it did. Oh, uh, uh, okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> it pushed the plate all the way over, like, here until it finally fell. Like, it did some weird glitchy thing. I'm trying to work on relays for this. There, so these are all linked. God, I love the Draconic uh, uh, crystals, dude. This makes it so much easier to power everything. Okay, so with this... I agree. I also like the flux points for that same simplic simplicity. They just, you place it and it's good. All right, so then with this, I can, uh... There we go. We're making molds. I think. Unless, am I just making plates? It's not what I wanted. Oh, no, this is what I wanted. Okay, so with this, all right, from the bottling machine, we are going to be making uh, Duraplast sheets. I think. Wait. I'm a bit confused now. Hold up. Wait, what? I don't understand. What did I do wrong? Metal press mold and plate to make Duraplast sheets. I can't put a mold here because this won't let me. 
I'm a, I'm a bit lost now. Um, so I wanted to put a mold here, but it won't let me do this. Okay, maybe I'm doing this wrong, like entirely. Let's uh, export the fluid that I've been making. What was the name of this, this thing again? It was uh, Philonic Resin. Export this into here with the fluid filter. Okay, so this is now filling with the Lonic Resin. Cool. How do I put the mold on this? Do I does it just kind of slide through? Oh it does. <laughs> Technology. <laughs> okay, which means I just need to make a need to make a circuit of this somehow. Wait. Can't, can you just connect the conveyor belts, right? I can, but I, I it, it uses the mold and then spits the mold back out. I want to keep the mold in here. Oh. Um. That's kind of annoying. I mean, I know ways of you could do it. But definitely probably wouldn't be the best way. Yeah, it's just it's, it's a bit obnoxious. Uh, belts. Because what you could do is you could set up a backpack with a magnet in it to just pick up that specific item and then spit it back into here with like a hopper or something. Yeah. I'm looking to see if there's like a filtered belt. Gotcha. There's got to be there's got to be a way to auto craft this easily. And set up auto crafting for this stuff. It needs to specifically feed through a bottling machine. I know that. Okay. But I meant for like the mold and stuff. I don't know. But yeah. I'm, I, I might I might have to use the dropper belt. Um. Maybe that might work. Dropper belt. Can this be filtered? Oh, this is going the wrong way. There we go. If I put the metal press again, what does this do? Okay. This drops it straight down. That I can work with. So I don't have to worry about it just falling off into the void. Let me get a hopper. Mm, hopper. Now we do it again just to make sure the this works. Come on. Pick it up. There we go. This will drop it into the hopper immediately. Gotcha. Okay. So with the hopper set up, we can import it and then export it into a chest. An extracting conveyor belts. Extracting conveyor belts. I want this going that way to a chest. We'll just use the diamond one. No other chest I can work with. Alright, and then we have an exporter attached to it. Ooh, no way. An exporter to export specifically this item. Okay, and then this is going to import anything that drops into here, including that item. Get a cable. Bada bing, bada boom, we're cooking with oil. Oh. So all I need to do is start it and stuff for that in this. Right. Where'd my mobile? Oh. 
found it. Oh, I, I think it may have picked it up. Okay. There we go. So this is filling that up. Falls into the hopper. Goes through the system again. And then just does that. Okay, cool. Hey, we're, we've automated it. It's a bit it's a bit retro, but hey, it works. And we're speed and import it. And then we can uh, make more of these molds, actually. Let's see here. Don't worry yourself. It's just a door. Just a... There we go, buddy. All right. Our cover and this make a bunch of these. Uh, the price getting full. So then we could store this inside of here. This is, isn't really the most efficient way of doing this because it doesn't function like a create train of belts, which is a bit dumb. Did it implode? Actually, I have I haven't checked on it in a minute. <laughs> Let me go do that. I've been working on this. All right, what we got? Um, no, it's holding steady. Nothing, nothing's happened to it at all. Cool. Now go to five mil. Not going to five mil. <laughs> I, I want to leave it for now because it doesn't, it's not causing problems. Cringe. You're cringe. You build it and go to five mil. Oh, I'd love to watch that happen. So I think it only needs two. That, it only needs two of these because it's as fast as it can really, really, realistically go. But anyway, hey, we're making the sheets now. Um, the sheets were needed for the the, the railgun. Fifteen machines later, and we're actually getting close to making the stupid thing. Okay. Railgun, which is the advanced thing, which is aluminum wire, duroplast, and vacuum tubes. Vacuum tubes, relatively easy to make. Um, I need nickel plate, redstone, and copper wire. Uh, where's my hammer? There it is. Nickel plate. Uh, maybe you will. I, please, record you building this. I would love to watch that. <laughs> I need a couple of these. I need glass, redstone, and copper wire. Redstone and glass. Okay, this was not common projectiles. Crafting here it is. So we want boom, bam, bop, and then the wire cutter. Where's my wire cutter? Where did my wire cutter go? Did I store it in here? No. Am I am I going crazy? I swear to god I had a wire cutter. Uh, where did my eternal wire cutters go? Am I going crazy? Did I just lose them? Uh, check a bobble slot. Sometimes if you right click, it'll move it to a bobble slot. I, I've done that like a million times with my wireless universal pad. So literally, um, no. I just have 50 of them. But, well, that's unfortunate. I don't know. I guess I lost my eternal wire cutters. That's annoying. Um, 
Oh, no, I left them here. There we go. Forgot the engineer workbench just holds on to them. Okay, wait, so to make this in... Oh, yeah, right, also glass. Vacuum tubes. Done. All right. So, uh, we need to make the advanced ones with a duraplast and aluminum wire. We need aluminum. Okay. We need to smash this, the aluminum, first. And then we cut the aluminum. Boom. Bam. Cool. All right. Two of these. Uh, aluminum wire and the sheets. Boom. Got it. Alright. So now, if I think that was the last piece I needed, I'll put this in here. To make the railgun, electrum coil blocks. Electrum coil blocks. The, uh, Advanced electronic components, steel, uh, 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 the wooden grip, HV accumulator, and then that's it. And so we just take it to a crafting table. Fortune's legacy. <laughs> oh god. We have railgun. This is a major progression for the all the mud star though. Feels good. The entirety of immersive engineering is done now. Alright, so that's one part of Master of the Sky done. Feels good. Now, you might want to redeem your rewards because I just did something cool. I feel like you're lying. I did. No, I did a part of Master of the Sky. Mm -hmm. Master of your Master of the Sky. Yeah, I for the uh, immersive engineering tree under the Autumn Mods Chapter 2. That one, the Railgun, is done. Yeah, I'm looking for it. Alright, so I how the heck see. do I use this thing? It has energy. Oh, I see. How do I use this thing? I have no idea how the railgun actually works. I have a mercury globe. What's that, what that do? I don't... It's just a globe. Like, it's like... Railgun, here we go. Like, uh, the planet Mercury. The portable induction catapult is a marvel of engineering. It consists of two rails through which electronic power flows and accelerates a sled by that and by that projectile. The process is energy intensive but will accelerate various projectiles to high speeds. To launch a projectile from the inventory, click and hold the use button until the charge level reaches 99, then release. Projectiles include iron, aluminum, and steel rods, as well as graphite electrodes. However, you may find also, fire more exotic projectiles such as blaze rods that set a targets of light, in rods that actually hit, that can actually hit Endermen. Interesting. Inner pearls to increase their range. Saw, excuse me, saw blades to increase fierce targets or tridents. I can throw a trident with increased velocity. That's interesting. I don't um, have one. I didn't want to cut you off. I am actually heading out, though, so I hope uh, you guys, you and all of your people in your stream have a good rest of you guys uh, Saturday. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Um, yeah, have a good one. We'll catch you later. Wait, how do I... How do I fire this? Oh, I think I did just fire it. I can't... Uh, the, bless your faces and deuces. Did you, uh, did you charge it? I did. Hold up. Knight, stop. Don't move for a second. I need it. I need it. <laughs> Braille gun. <laughs>
I hit him. I hit him with the, with the blaze rod. <laughs> All right. Anyway, night is on point though. Unfortunately, I am out of time for today's stream. You guys have been an absolute delight, as always. Thank you for watching for uh, these last two days. Uh, next week, more Ultra Kill. Same thing with more Minecraft. We're having a great time. Um, I am going to keep an eye on that Draconic Core because I have no idea how dangerous that's going to be. Let me go ahead and uh, raid out so you guys can go and say hi to some people because they need to always be with the with friendship. It looks like Juss is streaming Minecraft as well, so I'll go ahead and throw you guys at him. What happening after I oh, created the Nether it. Portal? There we go. He has no idea where you're coming. Say hello to him. Raid. Anyway, you guys have been an absolute delight. I'll see you guys next time. And uh, please, have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.